Hey everyone, what is going on? And welcome back to another meta guide. So how are you all doing today? We are in the Ultra League. So all three leagues are beginning tomorrow. We have the Great League, Ultra League, and Master League. I'm curious which one you're going to be playing. Is it going to be the Great Ultra or Master League? Now this is an expensive league. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, right? Because we do have plenty of XL Pokemon. But there's also some Pokemon you could use that are not XL'd. So let's go ahead and dive right into the Ultra League. So for the S rank, we do have Reggie Steel. Of course, Reggie Steel, super bulky. Now you can run a non-XL Hundo, I guess. But if you want it that much bulkier, you definitely want the XLs for this. Now I do have an XL one, uh, but it's not, uh, it's not the best uh, IV one. But I still built it. Uh, it's still definitely up there. So I'm pretty happy with it. But yeah, I mean Reggie Steel is a great Pokemon all around. It's always been good, right? So. Obviously, with that Zap Cannon, we, you know, Focus Blast. We know how Reggie Steel works, right? And then we have for Alligator or Shadow for Alligator, a new addition this season because it got Shadow Claw. So, great Pokemon uh, all around. Absolutely love it. I think it's a great safe swap. I mean, the Shadow version, I would recommend if you have it. It is in the rotation for Team Rocket. So, keep that in mind. Definitely want to go ahead and go for the Shadow version. If you don't have the Shadow version, you could use the regular one. For Alligator, is still good, but I do recommend the Shadow version if you're debating which one to go with. Then we have Giratina. Giratina has always been good since the dawn of time. Now, since the uh, Go Battle League began, Giratina is a great Pokemon, right? And uh, then we have Polyrath. Polyrath received a big update last season, and it's just dominating with the Icy Wind and then the Squall buff as well. Great Pokemon, of course, the Community Day counter as well. Then we have Zygarde Complete. I actually just finished my Zygarde Complete probably about a week ago, so I'm looking forward to trying it out in the Ultra League myself. Super tanky. Uh, you only get one, so just use whatever IVs you have. It doesn't matter, right? My IVs are certainly not ideal. Not for the Ultra League, that, that is. Then we have Cresselia. So Cresselia is really thick. So most Cresselias I see have Future Sight Grass Knot. You could go with Moonblast Grass Knot as well. But personally, um, I kind of like Future Sight in this meta just because of the fire types. So if you happen to see a fire type, if you're not running Future Sight, you can't hit it. So keep that in mind. It really depends on your team comp. Uh, and then moving on to the A rank, we do a Pidgeot or the Shadow Pidgeot. Shadow Pidgeot is available now. So if you happen to get a really good one, more power to you. I got some ones that may have been okay, but... Nothing that I necessarily want to build for the Ultra League yet, but still Pidgeot, love the Feather Dance and Dip. Now you could go Avulace as well, but in this meta, I would probably go with the Feather Dance and Brave Bird. Um, Brave Bird, yeah, Brave Bird and Dip. Did I say Feather Dance and Dip? Or Avulace and Dip? I'm not sure, but it's Brave Bird and Dip if you're leading with it. Uh, Pidgeot is, is a great Pokemon. I've hit Legend with this multiple times in the past. I love Pidgeot, really do. And then we have Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz is so Thick. It's the Umbreon of the skies. I know Zionic used to call it that, right? So great Pokemon. Uh, great. Yeah, I, at the end of the day, as long as something doesn't really hard wall it, it is a really good Pokemon. Um, so then we have Kavalian and Virizion, so both of them. Uh, they used to be a lot better than they are in the Ultra League. They're still really good. They're still really highly ranked. But uh, they used to be used more so. Uh, I feel like probably because Pelirath and Annihilate kind of dominate now. But that's something to keep in mind. They're still good, though. Uh, and then we have Tapu Fini. So Tapu Fini is a good Pokemon, but ev whenever it gets Nature's Madness, which I assume will come out in May, um, it's going to be that much better. So Nature's Madness, Fini, once it comes out, definitely going to want to go that route. And then we have Empoleon. Empoleon did receive the Steel Wing this season. Let's go. So uh, that much better for sure. Definitely, definitely helped out uh, Empoleon. Then Annihilate, we kind of mentioned it. Annihilate was released last season. Absolutely dominating the Great and Ultra League for sure. Then Tentacruel. So Tentacruel is really thick in the Ultra League. I like Tentacruel a lot. So whenever I use Tentacruel in the Ultra League, I am running Scald Blizzard. Um, just Scald uh, Blizzard mainly to hit the Giratina or the other Dragon types, right? Uh, but obviously Sludge Wave and Acid Spray are options, but I personally like the Scald and Blizzard in the Ultra League. Not in the Great League, I haven't run Blizzard in the Great League, but for the Ultra League for sure. Uh, moving on to the B-Rank, Steel Wing Skarmory, so absolutely incredible. I do have a Hundo Skarm, so really cool. I haven't built it yet just because I don't have enough XLs. I think I'm like 250 some XLs, um, best buddied, but again, not quite enough uh, to use it. But yeah, I mean, I think it's really good uh, in the Ultra League. Of course, we see it all the time in the Great League. Then we have Talonflame. Uh, Talonflame did receive the buff last season to Incinerate, and it also got Fly. But I've also seen Brave Bird uh, specifically for the Ultra League. So you could run Fly, you could run Brave Bird. If you want to do a surprise factor, I think Brave Bird is probably a good way to go. Regirock, well, Regirock does wall Talonflame, so uh, another great Pokemon. Registeel is just going to be better, but 
Uh, Regirock is a really good Pokemon as well. I actually use this too. It's it's really tanky. Uh, then we have Guzzlord as a Dragon type. So Guzzlord is a really powerful Dragon Pokemon. Uh, Defense Deoxys. I've used this. I love um, the team with Defense Deoxys, Greed, and Guzzlord. We'll talk about that later in the solid team options. But I really, really like Defense Deoxys. I have a rank one. Uh, for the Ultra League, and it works really, really well. Then we have Lantern, Best Buddy, Hundo, which is what I have. Level 50, really strong, but it is expensive. Keep that in mind. So it is, it is pretty expensive, but it is really strong as well. And then we have Swampit. So Swampit, um, I mean, Swampit's still a good Pokemon. Wishcash really isn't seen in the Ultra League. I mean, I guess you could try out Wishcash or Shadow Wishcash in the Ultra League if you want to. I didn't put it on this graphic, but I guess that is something you can try out, but we never see it. But Swampit is just, it just, it hits like a truck, so it's still really good. Uh, and then we have Jellicent. Jellicent, I've always liked Jellicent. Used Jellicent as well on a Legend team in the past. Greedon as a save swap. Greedon is an amazing, an amazing save swap. So keep that in mind. Absolutely incredible. Save swap, really, really tanky. I have a rank 9, level 50. Again, more expensive stuff. We're going to go ahead and move on to the other options. We do have Pelipper. Pelipper is an interesting choice for the Ultra League. Uh, this is another one you need a hundo level 50 best buddy, which I do have. Uh, it's still pretty frail. It's not the best in the Ultra League, but it's fun to use. Um, and then we have Skeledurge. Skeledurge I do see quite often. Uh, Skeledurge and Talonflame, so both really good Incinerate users. This is why I like having Future Sight on Cresselia whenever I use Cresselia. Uh, and then we have Gliscor. So Gliscor, another option. Of course, there's no Gligar in the Ultra League, so uh, we'll need like level 80 before we get Gligar in the Ultra League, right? <laughs> um, maybe, I don't know. But Gliscor, Gliscor is a pretty, pretty solid pick. I do see this from time to time, but not too too often. Uh, Glade. A Glade is another uh, Pokemon that was updated this season with Psycho Cut. So it does get to the Leaf Blade in the close combat really, really fast. Absolutely spammy. It is pretty frail even in the Ultra League, but it is really, really fast. So it can hit like a truck. Um, unless if you resist the moves like Dragonite. So Dragonite is a uh, Dragon and Flying type, so it will resist those Glade attacks. Uh, I love using Shadow Dragonite uh, in the Ultra League. It's just... The Dragon Breath damage is just so, so strong. And you, you generally do have to shield Dragonite, though. Uh, if you want to use a Dragon that you don't really have to shield necessarily, Gudra is another option. It did receive the Aqua Tail buff this season. Charizard, I, I do think Talonflame and Skeledurge are probably the ideal uh, fire types if you go in the fire route. Uh, but Charizard is another option. Uh, and then Trevenant. Trevenant, uh, it did receive that Debuff to, to Seed Bomb, I guess. Seed Bomb takes longer to get to, but it does do more damage. That was, I mean, it got that nerf over a year ago. Uh, but it's still a good Pokemon. You definitely still see Trevenant. Uh, Dracalgy, yet another Dragon type if you want to try it out. Um, yeah, Dracalgy uh, does benefit for sure from being XL, so you do want the XL one. Um, and then we have Wolverine. Wolverine not seen as much nowadays because of the nerf it received a while ago. Obama Snow and then Aurorus. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and move on to the solid team options. So, for the first team, I don't know who created this team. I know Math Magic, who is an amazing streamer, did suggest this team to me, uh, I think, a couple seasons ago. And I did well with it. I climbed a lot. I think I... I don't think I quite hit uh, Legend with it, but I think I got Expert with this team. Uh, Defense Deoxys, Greedon, and Guzzlord. Now, this team does struggle, I will say, to the Annihilate, for sure. But I have beaten Annihilates with this team. Uh, Polyrith can also be a difficult Pokemon to go up against. But you lure it out with that Greedon, right? You lure it out with the Greedon, and you're still doing neutral damage because the Body Slams come out really fast. Um, and Defense Deoxys, of course... Does have the Psycho Boost, does have the Thunderbolt, and I do recommend the Thunderbolt moveset on Defense Deoxys. Uh, but yeah, uh, Annihilate is tough, because the thing is, like, let's say Annihilate is in the lead. You Psycho Boost and dip, but what are you going to dip into? I guess, I mean, you have to go into the Greedon, but then you have to go for Neutral Crunches, because Body Slam is re uh, double resisted. So yeah, it, it is tough, uh, Annihilate for sure, but I have, be as I said, I have beaten Annihilate. You're also still doing, with the Guzzlord, you're still doing neutral damage, right? And you could also go for the debuff with Crunch. So you're doing neutral damage with the Dragon Tails. So it's not like it's unbeatable, uh, but that is definitely tough. Uh, moving on, we have another team, Pidgeot, Virizion, Kabalian. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously Pidgeot or Shadow Pidgeot now is going to hate, what, Steel types? But you lo you uh, you could safe swap into the... I would say Kabalian is pretty much a safe swap. I like Leaf Blade on the Verizian. Stone Edge is another option, but I do like Leaf Blade. Um, 
So this team, I guess, will struggle against fire types uh, for the most part. Kabalian does have play with Stone Edge. Uh, Virizion does not if you're running Leaf Blade, but it is what it is. <laughs> and then Pidgeot, of course. Uh, I like the Feather Dance Brave Bird moveset, so that's probably the moveset I would go with, even with the, uh, the Shadow Pidgeot. Uh, next up, we have another team. This team is ABA weak to Charm, so keep that in mind. But Giratina in the lead with Polyreth and Tentacruel. If you don't see a Charm user on the lead, I think you're pretty much cooking with this team. This team has done well with me, or well for me last season. Uh, it is expensive, of course, that Tentacruel level 50 or close to it. Um, but all these teams are expensive. Uh, and then I do like the Shadow Claw on the Giratina because if you do run into a Charm user, you can't switch out. So at least you can do neutral damage with like Shadow Claws and Shadow Sneak, which is the move that I was going with. But Ancient Power is also an option. But I was going with Shadow Shadow Sneak. Uh, and then moving on, we do have another team. We have the Cresselia with the Safe Swap. Well, I mean, I guess both of them kind of work as a Safe Swap. But I would say for Alligator for the most part as a Safe Swap. Uh, for Alligator is such a great Safe Swap. Uh, I love it. I, I, I absolutely love it as, as a safe swap. No doubt about it. Um, I guess a future site on the Cresselia. Just because uh, if you run into a fire lead like the Skeletage, uh, obviously you can't really switch out because Registeel doesn't want to see that. So you can at least hit with neutral damage into the Talonflame or the Skeletage or the Charizard. Uh, and you do get to the moves pretty fast. Uh, moving on, another team, Annihilate with Greedon as a safe swap and then Lantern. Um, there's not many grass types. Obviously, we have the Virizion, which is really good, and you can you can see like Venusaur here or there, but they're not too common. So Lantern necessarily doesn't have to watch out too much, and there's so many things weak to Electric. That's why I think this Lantern does well, right? It might not have the best stat product in the Ultra League, but I feel like it does really well. I mean, look, you got the Polyrath, you got the Feraligatr, right? You got the Tapofini, Empoleon, Tentacruel, Pidgeot, Mandibuzz, Talonflame. Skeletage, Jellicent, it goes on and on. Lantern just, I've actually defeated entire teams with Lantern before in the Ultra League. I'm not even kidding. If they're triple weak to Lantern, whether they're triple weak to Electric or Water, I think it's a great Pokemon. And then the final team is going to be the Shadow Dragonite. And I do like the Shadow one. You could go with the regular one, but I do like the Shadow one. Uh, Registeel and Jellicent. So Dragonite uh, and Jellicent make a great pair. Uh, together and then another steel type. I put Veggie Steel, but it could be Kabalian. Another steel type. It could be Goliath Stunfisk, but that Pokemon was nerfed uh, a couple times, so you don't really see Goliath Stunfisk too often. Anyway, that will be it for the Ultra League. Let me know what league you plan on playing, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.